Did you know that gardening can boost your mental health? Yes, indeed. The simple act of nurturing plants can do wonders for your mind and spirit. As we celebrate Mental Health Awareness Month, let's take a moment to appreciate the therapeutic power of gardening. This humble hobby is more than just a pastime. It's a powerful stress buster, a self-esteem booster, and a catalyst for mental clarity. When you're tending to your plants, you're not just cultivating greenery, you're also cultivating resilience and tranquility within yourself. Moreover, gardening gives you a sense of accomplishment, a feeling of pride as you see your plants flourish under your care. It's a tangible testament to your efforts. Additionally, it opens up opportunities for social connections. You can share your gardening experiences, exchange tips, and even gift plants to your loved ones. In essence, gardening is a beautiful way to combat stigma and raise awareness about mental health. It encourages growth, not just in your garden, but also in your mind and heart. So, how can you get started with your own healing garden? Starting a garden doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming. It's about breaking down the process into manageable steps. And today, we're going to do just that. First things first, you don't need to transform your entire backyard into a lush oasis overnight. Start small. Choose a small plot of land or even a few pots on your balcony. Remember, it's not the size of the garden that matters, but the joy it brings you. Next, let's talk about plants. Your choice of plants can make or break your garden. So think about what you want from your garden. Do you want a riot of color, a fresh supply of herbs for your kitchen, or perhaps a peaceful green retreat? Your plant choices should reflect your desires and of course, the local climate and soil conditions. Now, sunlight and soil drainage are crucial for a healthy garden. Most plants love sunlight, so choose a spot that gets at least six hours of sunlight a day. As for drainage, ensure your garden soil isn't waterlogged. A simple way to check this is to dig a hole about a foot deep and fill it with water. If the water drains within an hour, your soil has good drainage. Investing in basic tools is also key. A sturdy shovel, a reliable pair of gloves, a watering can, and a sharp pair of pruning shears are the backbone of any garden. These tools will help you plant, weed, water, and prune your way to a beautiful garden. Lastly, regular care is essential. Gardening isn't a set and forget task. It requires regular watering, weeding, and pruning. But remember, it's not just about maintaining a garden. It's about nurturing a living, breathing ecosystem. With these simple steps, you're well on your way to creating a garden that not only beautifies your space, but also boosts your mental health. But the benefits of gardening go beyond mental health. Indeed, delving your hands into the earth, planting seeds, and watching them grow isn't just therapeutic for the mind, but also for the body. Gardening is a natural form of exercise. Think about it. Bending, lifting, stretching, digging. It's like an outdoor gym session, but with the added bonus of fresh air and connection to nature. What's more, spending time outdoors in the garden also means soaking up that beautiful sunshine, which our bodies need to produce vitamin D. This essential nutrient not only helps to boost our mood, but also plays a vital role in maintaining healthy bones and teeth and supporting our immune system. And let's not forget how these physical benefits can further enhance mental well-being. Exercise releases those feel-good hormones, endorphins, which can help to reduce stress and anxiety. Meanwhile, vitamin D from sunshine is known to help regulate mood and ward off depression. So gardening is not just a hobby, it's a holistic approach to your health. Remember, you're not alone in your gardening journey. As we delve deeper into the world of horticulture, we realize that it's more than just soil and seeds. It's about connections, relationships, and building a community. Sharing your gardening experiences, whether they're triumphs or trials, can be immensely rewarding. It opens up avenues for conversation, tips exchange, and most importantly, a sense of belonging. The joy of seeing a seed sprout, the anticipation of the first bloom, the satisfaction of a successful harvest. These are feelings best understood by fellow gardeners. A garden is a place of growth, not just for plants, but for relationships as well. It's an arena where we learn from each other, support each other, and celebrate each other's victories. It's where we find common ground, pun intended, and cultivate a community rooted in shared interests and mutual respect. The act of gardening itself, while therapeutic, is magnified when done as part of a community. It fosters social connections, bridges gaps, and creates a network of support. It encourages us to look beyond our garden fences and realize that we're part of a larger, vibrant, and thriving ecosystem. So go ahead, share your gardening stories, learn from others, and be a part of this beautiful, blooming community.
Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.